1817, a man named Carl von Drees invented the first bicycle. Known as the Velocipede and Hobby Horse, Carl von Drees' bicycle had no pedal, brakes, or chain. To move the Hobby Horse, one had to propel themselves with their feet and catch their momentum. This proved rather inefficient, however, and during the 1860s, different inventors created bicycles with pedals. These bicycles were known as bone shakers due to the rough ride when moving the pedals. To help improve stability, inventors known as Eugene Meyer and James Starley created bicycles with oversized front wheels known as the penny farthing. During the 1870s and 1880s, these bicycles were all of the rage. However, the penny farthing also proved dangerous due to the high saddle. To fix this, inventor John Kemp Starley created the modern bicycle known as the safety bicycle which included equal size wheels and a chain drive. As shown, our bicycle is a replica of the modern bicycle. It includes a frame, also known as the body of the bike, two equal size wheels, one in the front and one in the back, two pedals, a sprocket, which is the part that connects the pedals and the bike, two pins, which connect the wheels and the frame, a handle used for maneuvering, a seat, and a chain, that connects the pedals to the rear wheels. As shown, as the pedals move, it rotates the chain, which in turn helps the rear wheel rotate. As the rear wheel rotates, it pushes the bike forward, also moving the front wheel. As shown, the pin connects the front wheel to the front part of the frame. Without it, the wheels would fall off, rendering the bike useless. The same goes for the rear wheel, since it is also connected to the frame using a pin. The pedals, which connect to the sprocket, are the main force of the bike. Without it, it would be too difficult to move the bike. The chain is connected to ridges on the sprocket on one end and ridges on the rear wheel on the other end. This rotates the wheel, which moves the bike. The seat is adjustable. Being able to move it up and down helps riders of different sizes use all kinds of bikes. Lastly, the handlebars, which is what the rider holds on to, is what changes the direction of the bike as it moves.